Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Camille. I am a first year medical student as well as a registered nurse and today we're going to be discussing all about radiation safety while working in interventional radiology. So without further ado, let's get started. Working in IR, you will be exposed to radiation from the fluoroscopy we use during the procedures. Thus, there are safety measures that are important to implement to keep ourselves safe. So where does the radiation come from exactly? So the radiation comes from the C-arm. So if my hand is the C-arm, we have two aspects that I want to go over, the bottom portion and the top portion. So the bottom portion is where the x-ray actually is coming from. The x-ray is shot from this bottom aspect through the patient and being caught by this top portion, which is called the image intensifier. So the image intensifier catches the x-ray once it goes through the patient and allows us to see the image then. So most of the x-ray gets absorbed by the patient. However, the parts that does not get absorbed is released into the air. That is known as scatter. So this is the radiation dose that we get exposed to and we need to protect ourselves from. So one way of doing that is to um, bring the image intensifier as close as possible to the patient while keeping the x-ray tube as far away from the patient. This will not only decrease the amount of scatter, but also improve image quality. Question number two, what safety measures should you implement to protect yourself from radiation further? So you should always wear a lead apron and a thyroid collar whenever in a room using active fluoro. Um, this is basically lead garments that cover your neck, that's the thyroid collar, and then one that covers your entire torso all the way to below your knees. Um, likewise, you should consider wearing leaded glasses. These protect your eyes from the radiation exposure, as well as utilizing rolling shields as an added layer of protection. This is basically a lead-coated um, wall that you can roll in front of yourself to, again, protect you from any radiation scatter. Um, studies have shown that only half a millimeter of lead can basically block between 95 to 99% of x-ray exposure. Likewise, we always wear a dose meter near or on your thyroid collar to measure our um, personal radiation exposure. And if you are beyond the safety limits, you will be notified and further action will be taken. Um, likewise, the interventional radiologist doing the procedure should always keep in mind OLARA, which stands for as low as reasonably achievable. This means using the least amount of x-ray needed to complete that procedure safely. Okay. Um, radiation dose is measured in gray and milligray. That is the um, units for radiation. And basically, the higher the dose, the greater the x-ray exposure is. Um, last thing that you can do to protect yourself from radiation exposure is use distance to your advantage. So the further you are from the x-ray, the less scatter there is and the less dose you will receive personally. So the intensity of radiation is inversely proportional to distance. What that means is intensity equals one over distance squared. So again, as I mentioned, the further you are back from the x-ray, the less of that exposure you will receive. Question number three, what can happen if you are exposed to too much radiation? So what can happen includes skin redness or skin breakdown. You can develop cataracts from the radiation exposure to the eyes, which is why lead glasses are um, indicated to wear, as well as DNA damage can occur that can lead to a myriad of different diseases and cancers. So again, this is why we implement all those safety measures, right? Wearing a dose meter, wearing a lead apron and thyroid collar, wearing lead glasses, um, utilizing Alara, and using distance, distance to our advantage. Question number four. If you're pregnant, can you still work in IR? To answer that question, yes. Pregnant women are still capable of working within the IR suite. However, there should be additional safety precautions taken to prevent any excessive exposure of radiation to the fetus throughout the pregnancy. So it's advised for pregnant women to wear an additional dose meter badge on their abdomen underneath all of their lead garments to help directly measure that radiation exposure to the fetus. Likewise, uh, pregnant women should utilize rolling shields, maximize any distance from that C-arm, and limit their time in the fluoroscopy suite whenever possible. So other than that, all the other safety precautions should be taken, and limiting exposure should be really highly regarded, especially in women that are either newly pregnant or towards the end of their pregnancy.
All right, that's all I have for you today. We discussed radiation safety while working in interventional radiology. If you like this video, please give this video a thumbs up, comment any questions or suggestions for future videos down below, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel. All right, guys, till next time.